deputy mayor around these parts. The quaint town, fresh air, and rolling green fields of Mullica Hill, New Jersey. The deer are coming through here all the time. There's turkey. Dennis Clowney is a real outdoorsman. Tough, rugged, and a master on the grill. That one's looking good right there. Year round goes great with watching sports. But his world now turned upside down by an insect no bigger than a speck of dirt. I had a burning sensation on the lower part of my leg. Just moments later. And I could feel around my wrists starting to tangle, my ankles, my waist. But before he could get his morning coffee. My hands are swelling. I go into the powder room and I, I look at myself and I'm like, whoa. A rapidly swelling tongue now affecting his breathing. And I'm thinking, well, this can't be good. It wasn't. And they just hit me up with, uh, you know, steroids, uh, antihistamine stuff, and they said, we're not going to know what caused it, but we need to get rid of it. They got rid of the allergic reaction, no problem, but the blood test results for the cause, a shocker. Lo and behold, I come back with the Lone Star Tick disease. This is what the little critter looks like, magnified. And this is closer to the deer tick. It's a very small uh, tick. Not originally from around here, but the Lone Star Tick has been moving into our region rapidly on the backs of deer. We don't know a lot about the Lone Star Tick and uh, the manifestations of it. But they are feasting on more humans who have no idea what's happening. Now the reaction may be as mild as just some hives or it can be much more severe. But it doesn't spread Lyme disease like the known deer tick. It left Dennis with a more mysterious misery. And he's tested specifically for beef, uh, pork, and lamb. And all those numbers came back real high. A violent allergic reaction to red meat. What happens with this tick is they introduce a particular carbohydrate protein moiety. It's specifically called alpha-gal. And allergy expert Dr. George Martin says Dennis is extremely lucky that his doctor was aware of it, since most aren't. You can't ever get rid of it? The only thing that you can do is avoidance measures. You know, right away you think, oh, this can't be. I need a piece of steak. We have no magic formula for the treatment of uh, food allergy. So meat and potatoes Dennis was forced to drastically change his diet. And this is all uh, turkey and chicken? Yep, that's your turkey and here's chicken. All about the seasoning, he says. They have sweet onion, they have just regular. Even seafood and ostrich meat work. So how much chicken and fish and all that did you eat before? Not as much as I'm eating now. In fact, soon I may start clucking, I don't know. Honestly, I mean, I, I like it, it's really good. It's not the same. But there is an upside to all this. Dennis is losing weight, feeling better, and his high cholesterol, no more. I mean, you gotta live your life. Let's try okay. it. So he carries an EpiPen and other medication just in case mm. he accidentally eats some red meat. He's not making a bad face, so that's um, good. And he's adjusted his grill skills, too. Yeah, you just mix it up and you, you try something new. Mm. Now, Dr. Martin says not everybody bitten by a lone star tick will develop a red meat allergy, but you still don't want to take any chances. Remember, it has a single white mark on its back. It's aggressive, too. This one chased down my photographer in a busy store parking lot. So protect yourself and your children and check for ticks after every outing. Joyce Evans, Fox 29 News.